I'm here with Andrew, who is the Managing Director of JKP Engineering in Rotherham. So it's a little bit up north for me, Andrew. It's a pleasure to be here at your company. We're also going to be discussing his range of machines and especially the Herco. So talk to me about your company. Where did it all begin, Andrew? Uh, I used to work for the bearing industry uh, years ago and it got to a stage where one of my suppliers said, you should be doing this for yourself. So the penny dropped and here we are today, basically. A successful company, over 12 people working here um, and definitely a family run company. I know like you always, you've just said really uh, to myself that you're managing director, but you do it all as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm managing director, I'm dealing with the customers, I'm doing the quotations, I'm running the machine as well. So it's, it's a sort of a place where uh, we have an ethos where all hands on the deck, basically. Yeah. I am. And you've got your son here, yes. son-in-law soon as yeah. well. Your wife is on the front reception That's desk right. as well. So talk us through how the company's changed and evolved over the years. You know, of course, 2009, massive uh, you know, financial crash happened. Where have you gone from there? We were heavily reliant on the uh, car industry and the bearing industry. Uh, back in about 2007 and the, like, the financial crash came on in, in the city uh, and a lot of the car companies slowed down because they weren't selling vehicles so we had to then look, start looking at other sectors of the industry that we could um, sort of offer our services to uh, and we went to look at biomedical, we looked at oil and gas uh, and one of the, the ones that has really hit off in the last few years is uh, electric motors for uh, like hybrid vehicles and things like that. And I've seen some examples of those here today. And how's that working for you? Because that's about 50% of your business now, is that correct? It is, yeah, and it, it looks like it's gonna grow. It's a growing sector. Everybody's moving over to uh, either electric powered vehicles or electric generation. We've just done an um, electric generator for uh, Nissan Motor Company. Uh, it was made completely here by ourselves. And, you're, and you work a lot with tooling as well, is that correct? Yeah, we do a lot of uh, tooling for the aerospace company. So we're not making parts for planes, but we're making all the tooling so that they can run their machines uh, to make the parts for the planes, basically. So in 2018, you invested in a couple of Herco vertical machining centres, and then the next year, two lathes as well. Talk us through that journey. Um, at the time, we were doing a lot of work but we weren't producing it fast enough to some extent so we looked around at uh, different um, machine manufacturers and we've seen a lot of pictures and lots of videos of Herco's online uh, which sort of made us like age their way uh, and we invited them in we looked at the software what the Herco's had got on board and we ended up buying one uh, and then about six months after we ended up buying another one <laughs> Because we, well, yeah, we liked them that much, basically. The relationship with Herco has, has really grown, really, over the last two years. And it's grown to an extent where in the back end of 2019, we actually bought two further lathes off them. Yeah, I mean, it really is incredible. Now, your work isn't high volume, it's more high variety that you're looking at. You know, and speaking to the guys behind me, five offs is quite rare. You know, generally it's one offs, two offs. Now, what do you desire from your Herco machine? Um, the machines at the moment give us um, good performance, good accuracy, and the programming time is really quick. So you can spend, in a machine shop like ours, you can spend a lot of time stood in front of the control programming a job. But with the Herco, you've got really good graphics which assist you in uh, being able to sort of like visualize what you're making really quickly. So in instead of trying struggling with the control, you can work a lot. Yeah, work with the control really well, and you can produce like one-offs really quickly. And the machine spindles, you got twelve thousand and fifteen thousand. You know, oh, 10, oh, we've got ten thousand and twelve thousand. Oh, ten thousand and twelve thousand. Do apologise, but I, I knew there was a, there was a couple of yeah. <laughs> a couple of thousand difference. But what 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 do you need for the differences? Surely do you put different work on the, one to the next? Yeah. Yes, we do. The 10,000 spindle is the first machine what we bought, uh, which is it's really good and it's a good all-day all machine. But we wanted something with a little bit more top-end speed, so we bought uh, a 42 Ti, which is behind me, um, and that's got 12,000 RPM. 
Uh, the advantage of that is that it's got a spindle chiller on it. So we can run that spindle for much longer periods, whereas some of the other machines that we've got in the factory, um, we can only run for, for about an hour at that speed, whereas this we can run it for eight, nine, ten hours running at that speed. So the spindle's not too hot? Yeah, there's no deterioration in it, and the, the, size, the size of the components what we're making, there's no fluctuation. It, everything's been kept at a constant temperature. And just the last few comments on your Hercos, anything else that you, you like about them? What do you else do you desire? Surface finishes? You know, are you feeling that you have got what you've got for your, you know, what have you got good for your money? I would say that um, you get a lot of bang for your book, basically. They're, they're not an out and out massively expensive machine, uh, but they're not a top end machine. But what you get is a very economical machine uh, for what you pay out and what you actually receive in quality uh, and the jobs they actually produce are really good and quite honestly they're just as comparable as the top end machines really you know you're not gaining anything by spending a lot more money